Hi, in this video I want to talk about how to calculate inbreeding coefficient. And today's problem is, in a sample of 100 people, there are 14 uh, whose uh, genotype is MN, 32 MN, and 54 NN individuals. Calculate the inbreeding co coefficient. If you know how to do it, you may stop the video here and uh, try to solve this problem on your own. And when you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So, uh, here we have uh, three genotypes, as you see, and all the three genotypes mean um, different uh, blood groups in MN blood group system. So, uh, let's first find the frequency of the allele M and allele N. And as you see, here we have uh, heterozygous uh, 32 individuals, and as you see, M and N are capital. So this is co-dominant uh, alleles. So uh, let's find the frequency of each allele. So we have 14 individuals whose uh, genotype is capital M, capital M. We also have uh, 32 individuals with blood group MN and 54 individuals with blood group NN. So, uh, as you see, we have three genotypes here, but only two alleles, M and N. So only two alleles make all these three genotypes. And uh, we can say that um, we can abbreviate them as allele P and allele Q. So P would be would stand for the uh, allele M and Q would stand for the allele N. So all the alleles P and Q when we add these numbers, would equal to 1, or would equal to 100%. So 1 would equal to 100%. So we can uh, make uh, calculations on the different scale. One would be between 0 and 1, and another scale can be between 1 and 100%, where 1 equal to 100%. And, uh, for example, 0 0.5, would equal to 50%. So let's now um, calculate the frequency. For example, here we have 14 individuals whose blood group is MM. And that means that we have 14 individuals with two alleles MM. And that means that here we have uh, 28 allele M. Here we have 32 individuals um, with um, alleles M and N. So that means that we have 32 alleles M here plus 32 alleles N here. Because people are deployed, so we would have two alleles. And here, uh, with last group, we would have 108 alleles N. So, in order to calculate the frequency, we just have to add all the alleles. So, if we add all these alleles, we are going to get 200. So, total number of the alleles would be 200. So, total would equal to 200 alleles. So um, now we just have to calculate how many M and N alleles we have here. And here we have 28 alleles M plus 32. So together this is going to be 60. So we have M alleles 60. And uh, that means that we have N alleles 140. So, uh, in order to find 
uh, what is the percentage, for example, uh, would be alleles M. We just have to divide 60 by 200, total number of alleles. And we would find that frequency of the allele M, so allele M, would equal to 0 0.3. And that means that uh, here uh, allele P frequency would be 0 0.3 and 0 0.3 plus something would equal to 1. So it's very easy. We don't need calculator to find that uh, 0 0.3 plus 0 0.7 would give us 1. So uh, the frequency of the allele n would be 1 minus 0 0.3 and this is going to be 0 0.7. So uh, we find uh, the frequency of each allele and by the way if we multiply these numbers by 100 we would get 30% uh, and 70% here. So as you see, two different scales exist. So we can do our calculations uh, on one scale or on the other scale, or we can easily convert uh, numbers just by uh, multiplying by 100 or by dividing uh, by 100. So now I want to show you the formula how we are going to find uh, the inbreeding coefficient and here is the formula so formula would be uh, number of expected uh, heterozygotes so HT would stand for the heterozygotes minus number of uh, observed heterozygotes HT divided by um, number of expected heterozygotes so uh, as you see in order to use this formula uh, we have we already have number of absorbed uh, uh, heterozygous and this is 32 individuals and uh, we have to find expected number of the heterozygous so we have to find um, if uh, this um, community or gene pool and by the way uh, here uh, F stands for the inbreeding coefficient so we have to find if observed numbers are equals to uh, expected numbers and uh, we are going to use uh, Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium and uh, this is another formula and here is a formula so um, frequency would equal to um, p squared plus 2 p q plus q squared and all the frequencies would equal to 1 and as you see um, we know uh, p and q so uh, p equals to 0 0.3 and uh, q equals to 0 0.7 we just found uh, that numbers in uh, our previous step so in order to find uh, frequency of the heterozygotes and here we would have uh, m here m n here and n alleles here so in order to find frequency of the heterozygous um, individuals their frequency we just have to multiply um, 2 by so frequency of the heterozygotes m 
n would equal to 2 multiplied by number p that is uh, 0 0.3 and by number q that is 0 0.7 and as you see the answer here would be 0 0.42 and um, as long as we have 100 individuals, I just want to remind you of a problem in a sample of 100 people. So in order to convert frequency into the uh, numbers of peoples, we have to multiply this number by a uh, number of people. So we have 100 individuals and uh, we are going to get uh, also real number of individuals that would belong to this blood group MN or going to be heterozygous and as you see we don't need calculator here so uh, number expected number of the uh, individuals that is going to be heterozygous according to the um, Hardy-Weinberg formula would be zero or oh, sorry a frequency would be 0 0.42 but a uh, real number of individuals would be uh, 42 out of 100 so now we have uh, uh, all the numbers that we need in order to solve this problem and uh, as you see once again um, in our problem initially we have uh, 32 uh, individuals that belong to the heterozygous group MN so this would be observed numbers and we got expected numbers that is going to, to be uh, that is uh, 42 individuals so now we just can use these numbers in order to solve uh, our problem using this formula so what we are going to get would be number of expected and this is going to be 42 minus number of observed and this is 32 individuals divided by number of expected heterozygotes and this is 42 so number of um, expected heterozygotes minus number of observed heterozygotes and divided by the number of expected uh, heterozygotes and the answer here would be 0 0.238 and this is going to be our answer and this is going to be our inbreeding coefficient I hope my explanation were clear enough and now you would be able to solve this problem on your exam and if you still have uh, any questions please write uh, comments and uh, see you in the next video goodbye